of scary. All right, it says we're live. We have eight so far. Eight so far. Hello. All right, let's just get these cameras set up here. Thank you for tuning in, the eight of you. You guys are awesome. Which camera is it coming from? Nice. Let me try and get everyone in the frame here. Now the cord is like in the in the bottom of it. I think you just yeah, need to move the laptop all the way to the edge. No. Back up a little bit. Yeah, as long as that corner is empty, then it'd be fine. Nice. Hello, what's up, YouTube? Oh, down to seven. <laughs> oh, seven watchers. Seven now. million. Wowzer. Seven million. All right. This is cool. You see the live chat there? Let me. Uh, I'll. I'll. I'll give it a tweet. All right. Send it out. Anyone? Oh, here we go. Jackson Heights represent. Thank you. Thank Wait, you. Wait, what? Jackson Heights is where I'm from. There we go. There we go. Oh, wow. Joe Hale's in it. That's right. Now we're starting now to pick up. We got eight. Field, baby. Tweet this link. Hang out with us. We're going to be here for an hour or so. Yeah, we got about an hour. Uh, anyone listening, if you could just shoot in the chat, how's the audio sound? We sounding all right? Loud enough, too quiet. Let us know what you uh, are hearing. Let me see how else I can share this. Oh, it sounds good. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you, Luke. Cool. We do have uh, Kyle Merber and Craig Nowak in the house as well. They are grabbing beers, and then we're going to kick this bad boy off. Oh, and I guess Adam's here too, the other beer mile guy, but whatever. Not important. Got a couple sniffles here. This is my allergies. I'm fully vaccinated. We're all we're all we're all vaccinated on this show. So that's that's right. exciting. It's about time, man. Last time I saw you, there wasn't even a vaccine out. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy, isn't it? Because I recorded a podcast with you in November. Yes, that was yeah. I think that was November. Wow, Beer Mile Podcast has taken off since then. We're, we've been grinding away, doing our thing. Trying. You guys traveling a bunch. Speaking to like you, where where have you guys gone off to? You guys did a we hit trip up to Arizona. Scottsdale. Yeah, hit up Scottsdale. Are we what? He's live. <laughs> We're live, man. This is this is it. We've Joe got, Hale is, is is watching. We've got thirteen people in the house. They say the audio is great. Amazing. There we go. And yeah, you're taking your mask out. There you go. See. There we Welcome go. Welcome to the club. Hit. That isn't even in. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We were actually just commenting how there's like a uh, state line road that separates uh, Kansas City and Missouri. And all right, get what this other... guest right in there. There you go, here, guest here, of here, honor. Here, here, here. We have two cameras. Which one are you looking at? You're looking. You, this, this is a backup. The Canon is the real camera. The GoPro is the backup for if we want to use this footage for anything else later, basically. Which one did you use for Craig Angles and Eric Jenkins? We used GoPros, we used, but we've stepped yeah. up our game to the Canon since. Craig and Eric. The finance game is good for you guys. That's now. right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> it's kind of funny. You almost need to have a job outside of track and field to fund your ventures in track okay, and field. Okay, so I have no reason to need like MRIs or anything. But now that I have a job, I like wish I could get an MRI again. You just so it, it would be like free. It, yeah, that's right. Everything's free when you uh, have a real job, right? It's kind of like how they say in college that some of the resources are better and everything than pros have, you know? Like, right. And, uh, Especially if you're okay, Chris, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, obviously not nowadays, for like the last <laughs> 30 years. But, uh, like if you have a normal job, some of the, the things really do make, uh, make for some perks. Makes a yeah, big most, difference. Most runners, uh, are technically contract and you have to buy your own insurance, right? Yes. Very expensive. That yeah. sounds really, yeah, that sounds yeah. fun. You go no insurance. <laughs> You're gonna get penalized on your Craig Nowak, no insurance. <laughs> oh man. Is Joe Biden in the chat? <laughs> he's he's watching. He's watching. <laughs> wow. 
All right. No, I would just pay a ton for like oh, really, really bad right. insurance with a high deductible, and it was. Terrible. And then you just hope you never need it. You're like, yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay, so we we have we, up to now? we had 19. We just lost two. We're at 17. So <laughs> our retention rate <laughs> is below 20. percent Maybe we should say something interesting 10%. here. No. Perfect. Okay, so. We'll officially kick this off. We only have three microphones. Apologies. Uh, we're going to be passing the mic a little bit. But uh, oh, that's all you. yeah, Craig, you're a guest of honor. You hang on to that mic. Uh, so what, what spice are we thinking? Well, let's introduce the guest. Well, actually, we probably don't need to introduce the guest. All right. We'll introduce it really quick. This is a live, our first ever live stream for the Beer Mile podcast. We are grateful to have Craig Nowak joining us, Chris Chavez, and Kyle Merber in the house, hanging out at Nimble Brewing Co. in Kansas City, ready for the Kansas City qualifier tomorrow, presented by Charles and Miles and Sidious Mag. Thank you both, as well as a Heartbreak Running Company, yeah. I believe, right? So tune into that live tomorrow night, starting at 6.45 p.m. Central Time on the Sidious Mag YouTube channel. But for right now, for the next hour or so, we are just going to, you know, for lack of a better phrase, talk some shit, hang out, and... Uh, it sounded like you were reading off the prompt. That was oh, really professional. Was like that was, that, came, that I mean, came with the suit. <laughs> it's like he's read like 20 emails. I, I, <laughs> you know, look good, feel good. When, you, when you're in the suit, you just, yeah, your intelligence just goes up a level. Wow. And yeah. so I, I'm where's, practicing. Where's my intelligence at? Yeah. <laughs> Craig came straight from the track. You can read a swell. Oh, pit stop. Okay. We got okay. No All right. He got the pre pre race in. All the right. Track was in Timbuktu though. There was a hike. Yeah, yeah. It, was but it three? Was it three thousand meters or like? Well, was it? it the line looked <laughs> more legit yeah, than was. the last time I ran. Yeah. Okay. So Is that where we're starting? I want to start. I, there. I actually do want to start there. <laughs> I, I want to know. So legitimately, no one there questioned it or did someone question no, it? No, because we started on the line that said three thousand meter steeple. <laughs> so like. And it's on the it's on the right area of the track, you know. Yeah. Looking back now, it's like it kind of like where you would start a mile from the corner. Yeah. It really should be like another forty meters back. John. But yeah, uh, it said three thousand meter steeple, so it was just like a purely like engineering malfunction. So it's, so it's the, the people who made the track. People who made the track. Measured they the track. They painted that line. Right. Yeah. There, so yeah. all right, how short? What are we thinking? I think it's about 50 meters, yeah. 50 Somewhere meters. I, I haven't got like a, a concrete number, but what was from 40 to what was your PR coming in? 8:35. Oh, so that sucks because so, it still would have definitely been yeah. a PR. And you would have hit the OTQ. It still, it still would have done all that. So yeah. Well, damn. What, yeah. At what point did someone think something's up here? Because this is it was. What are you mentally doing? It was it was, four, it was 14 <laughs> seconds. It was a 14 second PR for you, right? It was. Yeah. yeah. It was a big PR, but uh. No, I mean I'm I'm doing fine. I mean it still was a good it still was a good race yeah. for me regardless, yeah. you know. You gotta uh, feel bad for the person who like ran a shitty race there and then later on <laughs> finds out <laughs> that but I mean, oh. yeah, the guy who got second, I guess he's from Tunisia and uh and he he thought he was going to Tokyo immediately after the race. Oh, and, that's so, so sad. I mean, it was definitely heavier for Are there some other implications people. here, suit guys. No, I think the guy I think that guy no, is but they, the, the people yeah, that build the track was... are paying for my trip here to race. Oh nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the guy who was second, I think, is also in the field. Like it was like yeah, a, yeah, a bunch of people just decided, uh, all right, let's let's this redo is, it. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I probably I probably wouldn't be ran, running here if that didn't happen. So the, the everything time. happens for a reason. <laughs> now I'm here at the brewery <laughs> drinking some nimble beer. <laughs> oh, I think we're gonna are we gonna like. Take it upon ourselves to wheel, wheel it out. Uh, well, I think it was like doing? one of the first. Uh, David Melly, I think, yeah. might have tweeted it yeah. or like posted it to a story where he yeah. said, "Like I will be out there with a wheel if you need me to to measure out that it is the full distance." How do you measure a three thousand meter steeple, really? Though that's the thing. You gotta go spin it while you're carrying over the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep yeah, it like, spinning. Does it take into yeah, consideration the awesome. vert? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. That's weird. So, so are you expecting? An OTQ tomorrow, then. Yeah, yeah. for that, sure. That would be like the minimum expectation. I feel okay, like. okay. And how, to get that. how are we feeling about an Olympic standard? I, I'm pretty hopeful that that'll still happen. Well, the uh, race has. 
I mean, arguably a more competitive field. Yeah, this yeah, is, yeah, yeah. This is a much better field for sure. Oh, so. yeah. I'm not a subject though. Thanks, Chris. Oh, it works. So I'm the <laughs> just get through. It's like a news. It's like a newsstand in here. Uh, so on the subject of OTQ and Olymp hitting the Olympic standard, we were actually getting a little bit into uh, you talking about potential jerseys. You know, other than from TJ Maxx or Kohl's or wherever you got your first one. Right. You wore a T-shirt at the last one. Right? Yeah. I did. I wore a T-shirt. So we were, and and we were talking about earlier. Uh, actually, before we started recording potentially you know you looking at some deals for wearing a jersey to the trials so one thing that chris and i schemed up uh a, a little bit before our long run but definitely uh during the long run kind of the plan came together and we want to know what it'll take for you and both of these are um contingent on you wearing a one-of-one -one custom jersey that we will make you for free at the trials what will it take for you hitting an OTQ standard and then the Olympic standard. I do just want to preface this by saying that I just watched you let Craig buy his own beer at the bar. <laughs> go ahead, go on. Well, yeah, you gotta, he's oh. got to spend money to know how money works, you know? But also, yeah, I think you also have to be a USATF like registered club, right? In order to be able to have your logo show or something like that? I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting into oh, the week. <laughs> it'll, it'll be a USATF legal jersey, which is why it'll probably be one... What's the logo? Oh God! The like the club thing. So, like, if yeah. you had been, like Bowerman. Into this pirate yeah, yeah. Across, that... I think that's too big. I think the pirate's yeah, too, big. too big. Yeah, to run at the trucks. I think it's yeah. got to be a registered club with USATF, and then they give you like a little bit of space. Oh, we can we can fast forward that. Yeah. <laughs> we can fast forward <laughs> that. People. I mean, it's just a question of money, right? And we're 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 the <laughs> finance <laughs> bros. <laughs> And the best part is, it's like, I think you guys shared a photo of the tax of your guys' taxes. Where it's like, oh, God. <laughs> Have you I heard didn't this? see this. I, oh, I messaged you and I said I heard about the tax photo and I missed it. Oh, Dude. God. Yeah, for the people who missed it. Q, Q1. We, we posted a little uh, image on our Instagram for, for, uh, for shits and giggles. Dude, Jordan was not a fan of it that was, photo. It was the, the Q1. Uh, we got, we got 20, 28 folks. So we, we put up our Q1 uh, Q1 profit profit uh, loss statement and revenue was like three hundred dollars loss was sixteen thousand. <laughs> Q1 we're fucking killing it. We're killing it. Actually, actually, actually. So we love it's the for sport. The love of the sport. <laughs> I mean, Man, if you want to break down, a lot of it was to buy beermile.com. Uh, some of it was to go to Scottsdale, Arizona for a trip. Some of it was to sponsor Sponsoring the Texas the qualifier and the prize money. Some of it was for this these this equipment that yeah, we're hopefully using. Hopefully the, the viewers notice that it's pretty high quality. I it think. is. It <laughs> is. <laughs> what is the business plan? <laughs> like, at what point are you like, no, no, no. When, when, Here is as the... a potential investor, when can I expect to see some okay. return? I'll go first and then Adam investment. goes. Yeah, where's the, the, revenue the business from? plan is... We pay Craig. We, so we drop another couple thousand on Craig. <laughs> of course. Just keep throwing money on But it. that's right. that's the hundred X return. He is the hundred X return right here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you I'm don't thinking, even have a product. That I'm thinking. Selling. I'm thinking at. I'm thinking at least like at least five hundred or seven fifty for OTQ with the jersey, and then like I don't know a thousand or fifteen hundred for Olympic standard. Are you, are you talking about tomorrow? No, no, no. For the like, if tomorrow. You hit OTQ and then wear our custom jersey at the trials. Oh, okay. And then if you hit the standard tomorrow and also wear the jersey, then it could be like. Okay, but the part I'm confused about is like, what is he selling? What is he endorsing? His, his, oh, oh, you're asking what the product yeah, is. Yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Like, selling, okay. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on. All right, all right. Chris, Chris said I'm not allowed to say this. It's all about um, the brand. But I've already had one beer, so I'm going <laughs> to. Uh, that, that's that's the line for you? That's one beer? Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> okay, so uh, I had an idea on one of my runs that we've been talking a lot to to Trials and Miles, to all these folks putting on uh, Jesse Williams, meets Jesse of Sound Running, and something that always comes up is like betting on track and field, which like everyone's. Oh, we're gonna do this right now. We're gonna yeah. drop it. Yeah. All right. That's well, this this is good. 
This means <laughs> this means that you have to oh, finish I'm, building it. I'm slave. I'm slaving away after this. I swear to God. Okay. Uh, so so what the concept is because we're what we're selling, quote unquote, is is a community, it's which a is a pretty loose term. Yeah. But one concrete thing that we want to sell is essentially like run bet win so we're gonna have an integration with strava where for every mile you run you will get like points on the beer mile website and then you can bet those uh for public like the races so we're gonna so like peak too early guys yeah. if you want to do trials. a little clap. yeah um oh yeah yeah we already have an api we have we're, our developer we're key we're, we're good to yeah. go all set so first thousand people to sign up that's like kind of the cap uh because that's I, how much we can get for free on our integration <laughs> with Strava. So we're going to go with the first thousand people to sign up. So so there are a few options from there. Like one thing we were thinking about is is making a cryptocurrency and obviously like... Beer coin. Then, Shout out beer coin. It's coming. So so we could be like kind of sketchy and do that. And it would you could actually bet money for it because... Well, you could bet beer coins, which are, you know... Right. Loosely tied to... Loosely tied to US dollars. Yes. Um, so yeah, we still haven't figured out like the end the end goal like of it, it. <laughs> but it's it's going to be i'll take my uh, sponsorship payment in beer coin yes. hell yeah long, yes. dude long beer one, coin one million beer coin long beer coin <laughs> so it so it is gonna be it's it's gonna be based on like strava and we don't really have an idea of like where we but not be. just strava that's one, right right yeah way. you can you can buy more beer coin obviously know? we'll take your money in exchange for beer sure, coins sure. so that you can gamble on our site that's so yeah now that now that you know the medium to long term plan i guess i guess any thoughts on that are you going to invest would you invest <laughs> investors possibly me <laughs> uh, well uh i still don't fully understand what the end <laughs> like yeah, all right where, so you have the, the beer real, coin like, and right. then you bet beer coin and then you win more beer coin so think about like if you have a hundred people all betting beer coin on a race and the winnings are proportional to whatever amount you does bet, does it become monetary in usd by that's the, end? the that's the part where we might need to hire or a lawyer getting, like cases of beer that's where it gets tricky course beer. course beer so so <laughs> that's why I yes there's okay. a one is like giveaways so you can like be entered in you can be like entered into a sweepstakes and because it's based on chance and it's not directly tied to an outcome of a sporting event, that's legal. We could also do a cryptocurrency, which is in a, a gray area. Yeah. Um, what else have we talked about? Oh Christ. Are we getting, are we getting canceled yet? <laughs> All right. I have a question. The IRS I'm, says I'm yeah. only in this for number one. Okay. Is there like a newsletter component? Of oh, beer mile. We can add that. Com. Sure. And uh, what will you pay me? Because I uh, do you want now? I'm do you expensive. want? Do you want per article or do you want equity? No, I just want to like. Oh, geez, there's equity now in USD or <laughs> beer going. Well, yeah, we can pay you for your services. It's beer not illegal. Coin. It's not illegal. We're just gonna pass beer coin back gonna, and forth between each other. Craig percent of all beer coin is circulation. <laughs> yeah, Craig's Craig's hot, just hodling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there, are, <laughs> I guess the overarching theme is that you have big plans in store. Yes. Okay. This is going somewhere. Yeah, so we have big plans, and it's not the typical. We're gonna make countless money on YouTube. Like we accept that we're probably not gonna get rich off YouTube. <laughs> not 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 to hate on the viewers out there, but we don't have enough of you these days. Um, you know, the, the the 50 bucks a month off YouTube is not going to cut it for this full time. Yeah. But we do have plans and, and it's it's very unfortunate. I mean, our YouTube would blow up if we would get in the lap count. We, you know, we got to earn our way. We got to earn our way there. Craig, but, Craig got in the lap count. He blew up. I got in the lap count. Twice, dude. You don't read? Dude, this guy's always in the lap First count. time for you peeing in a maybe, YouTube Maybe you got, oh, you got the wrong email. Uh, in there. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, in you Emma. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I heard it. Yeah, I'm surprised that made the cut. That yeah, cool. oh, it made the cut. <laughs> and then second, that time that you ran 821, but you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> but Until then tomorrow. tomorrow is Redemption Day. That's right. Tomorrow's Redemption Day. Yeah. Tomorrow, 821, baby. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think that's beer coin. I love this. That's yeah. Gambling. We'll probably have some sort of like, I don't know, some sort of members. We're, so we, we do need to make that USATF team because we do want to make, well, we have a Strava group 
for running. There's a good, there's a lot of people, like 300 people on there now, I think. So, yeah. So we're we are actually going to build. We're building our own custom website. That's the business yes. model. We're not doing relying on YouTube or I mean, obviously podcasting sponsors would be great too, but we're not relying on that. Yeah, lap count it, if you're listening. <laughs> lap count if you're lap sponsors. count. Uh, yes, actually, I'm pretty sure he he is in the lap count uh, guy over here named kind Kyle. Of a, kind of an employee. He, he, yeah. Okay. So one, I think that you editor, require editor, payment. I'm an editor. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And Owen, what's his name? Whoa, whoa, don't reveal. <laughs> <laughs> He's not for sale. <laughs> is, there, is there a way to look at archive? Yeah, yeah. All right, I got to do some catching up. your family. All right. Yeah. We got to do some catching up. So what's the business model for the lap count? <laughs> yes. Like, is there even a business model here? There is. Wow. <laughs> Actually, I saw the Harrier was paying you to sponsor I get, it. So. I get a title sponsor every single week. Okay. And as my subscribers grow, my... So cost. So what you're selling, it's a community, right? Not exactly. <laughs> it's more like the community of one, which is me and my <laughs> worthless opinions. Where does the lap point Yeah, I haven't yet thought of a way to integrate crypto. Well, if we, you know, we know how to make cryptocurrencies, we'll, my, we'll set was, you up. I was profitable week two. I don't want to brag or anything. <sighs> You know you what? You guys are going a little bit. You're shooting for the stars. I was, was just like, yeah. Was a, was Amazon profitable until year twenty? No, they were not. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> that's right. Will that's right. We just need some suckers to invest in us, and we will do just fine. Well, we will do just 32. fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we are up to thirty-eight. Excuse me. Oh wow. wow. <laughs> They're sharing this right now. Um, there was a question for Craig in there. There's a question for Craig. All right, yeah, we gotta we gotta give Craig some love over here. What? Oh man, this is so small. It's Setup is not ideal here. Thank you so much, Alex. We appreciate you saying that the boys are looking sharp. We did our best today. How's the audience packed to the brim, dude? Yeah. Very so we had to limit the cautious. <laughs> audience <laughs> doubled. We had to limit it coming in the door because yeah. it's just getting I'm about to it's, go crowd it's getting packed in here. There it is. <laughs> crowd surfing crowd live. Surfing. All right. <laughs> okay, we got a question for Craig. How does one pull a Bowerman babe? Nice. Um, you is got this it. from Chris Derrick? <laughs> <laughs> <He's engaged>. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to invest early. You got to know before they're Bowerman babe. You're okay. Gonna... See, this guy knows how to invest yeah, in a business you know, model or yeah. <laughs> business Beer model. Queen, Byron Babes, they go hand Both in hand. Both trending up. Yeah. Um, totally up. That was just pure luck, you know. Tell us the first date story. Oh, I don't know if I can. Same here. I don't know if I can Same tell that. Same state year. <laughs> Is that? Uh, no, I mean, we were both at Oklahoma State and then, you know, just you the chemistry older? was fake. undeniable. Wait, yeah. say what? You were, you were like a class older? Uh, I was like, I was maybe a fifth year. She was, she was younger. I don't want to say freshman. She was undergrad. But she was she probably was a freshman. If I had to, if I had to think. If I had to guess. Hey, I, I was, I was the prey. She was the predator. Oh, wow. You know, you know. No. I really feel like you're going to get in trouble after this five so days. Yeah, we're, 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 look, we're looking for a way to Right? That's right. That's right. The goal is to get canceled today. Uh, but no, no, it just like the chemistry was there, you know. And um, sh I mean, back when we started dating, she was running like two, two fifteen and eight hundred. So, Ooh. yikes! <laughs> I was not in it for the speed. Goggles, for the speed. But uh, I like to think I gave her all my secrets. You know? She ran with she, it. She she <laughs> executed quite literally. Than I. Yeah. <laughs> Who do, you, who do you think at the current moment has more potential? Um, for between me and Sinclair? Yeah, bigger upside. Um, Sinclair, for sure. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Every year I'm like, am, am I getting too old for this? What's the right age? I'm... You can follow in the footsteps of many solid runners before you of becoming the personal rabbit. For like an Olympic medalist. Yeah, yeah. A lot but of people. Rabbit, I mean, you're you're well you're well on your way. Like last six weeks. Is taking off. Yeah, the rabbit business is taking off. So, 
I'm enjoying the rabbit business. Yeah. yeah, I saw some photos of you rabbiting, like, what was it, Brazier and Engels, like, in a workout back in Portland once? They're I was like, actually doing that workout <laughs> with them, yeah. <laughs> but, you know, to, that's a fair assumption. <laughs> so, all right, so who's coaching you? You're, look, you're looking at him, dude. The, the guy. I, I'm <laughs> Coach Craig. Yeah. Oh, God. He's, he's uh, closely monitoring how many beers drink. <laughs> ba- Bailey coaches Adam, coaches Craig. Uh, I, I coach myself. Uh, it's uh, kind of a collaboration of a lot of people's ideas. I'm always asking people stuff, but yeah. Uh, honestly, if anyone in Portland is doing something that sounds good, I'll hop in. So it's cool. You're like well, a. It goes to my point that I made in the lap count about like it's everyone just kind of does the same thing, but like you believe in you, right? Yeah. yeah. Like you're your biggest fan. You're like Ricky Bobby painting. Uh, could be a bigger fan. Than uh, <laughs> Does she have any say in the training? <laughs> was but, she livid about the short track or the, the, no? You know, yeah, they do know about that. <laughs> I, I had to make sure, but no, I think that they're just be like, oh, you know, that's a bummer. You'll get it next time. Yeah. We, how was it getting all those? Well, because you did you did a post right that celebrated the race. I did. And then you, and the comment like, section I was, like, was like, oh. like I literally everyone commented on it. Yeah, and then and then, and then I got a phone call. I got a phone call maybe like six, seven hours after that. And I was like, "Oh well." How I, guess, I guess we gotta tell him. Didn't like what? <laughs> so I, just kidding. What did you do after that? Like, what was? Did you just like go on a run? Did you have some beers? Like, how did you cope with that? Or were you just uh, fine? I mean, I was fine. I I kind of like I kind of was laughing. Like, like laughing, was like, laughing, but also crying. No, I mean it wasn't. It wasn't there's still plenty of time, oh, I feel like. It, yeah. It's not like this happened yeah. with like a week or two to go until the trials. Yeah. That I mean, it was still like a good race for me. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, it just wasn't as good as I thought. Yeah. I honestly thought the whole thing was kind of funny. I was like, wow. <laughs> like, ev- like, everyone was super congratulative. Like, I was like, wow. It's like, oh, I've got fans out there. Like, like in case I ever do do this, this is like <laughs> I now know how it. Yeah, what feel. what post do you think is gonna have uh, like more clout? That one or like if you did it again, uh, do you think you'll get more likes on that second one? I don't know. I don't know. You, yeah, he's had you have enough time to like think of a witty enough caption. You could probably help with yeah. it. Yeah, just like, like you, you do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll do that. I'll put it in quotes. <laughs> I I don't I don't ever like plan out caption. I I like until recently I post on Instagram maybe once a month or every two months. So I got to step it up. But well, if you're gonna become the the media <laughs> darling of yeah, you might you might have some uh, quota. yeah you might have a quota. <laughs> well yeah we'll see. Hopefully we get it done tomorrow. But yeah, did you paste at the Hayward meet? Right? Yeah. Yeah, How was that? It was good. It was good. One fifty two. Yeah, one fifty two like through eight hundred. What did Which, they pay? Uh, it was fifteen hundred bucks. Nice. Yeah, makes sense. Good, good money. It's what you could be making with. <laughs> I was like, well, it could be yours and more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was. I didn't know if I could run one fifty two for sure. Was pretty certain, but yeah, it was no problem. So I might, I might do it again next week. Is that like? Sack. That's like seven weeks in a row, right? So anyone who's run three thirty, come on in, hop on. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that'll be week seven on the road. Damn. How's that travel been? Like, just it's been okay. It's been not bad. Uh, like, I would have thought I would have been really tired by now, but I seem to like keep chugging along. And then it's like I think, co- I think that's where coaching yourself comes in handy. I'm like, yeah, you know, Craig does not look ready for a workout today. <laughs> <laughs> Push it back. <laughs> that is that is the nice part. Is it work out when I'm ready? I'm never ready. Yeah, I mean, there, there's a point where I'm like, okay, I got I got to do something. Do do you sometimes just go into a workout and you're like, this is this is gonna be bad? I mean, I usually would just like not do it, or I'll just like, let's do it tomorrow. If it got to that point, I feel like I feel like I would know if that's gonna happen. So do your week start on Sunday or Monday? Monday. All right, yeah. cool. Sanity yeah. check. This like this long run on Sunday, first day of the week, like load up all these. I don't know. It seems silly. It's all the same. Yeah. It's like, is that just that's like what they tell me. Afraid to do a long run at the very end, like leave it. I'm afraid. I don't like doing that. 
like you're it's a lot of pressure yeah, yeah. You're, like, yeah. you're like what if i don't what if i don't feel good on sunday yeah. this is like 25 million viewers but zero she yeah, zero, right. zero 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 can yeah. can we say wait to something because i was thinking about the beer mile let's hear What's it the, what what kind of beer mile shape are you in right now i don't know you know i've never done a beer mile i would love to try i have done myself either do you think what well, yeah what do you season what's the conversion it completely varies. Is there is there a question that needs addressing or no? <laughs> Man, we need like a, a bigger screen here. Oh, that's a huge compliment. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Um, Damn. Do you want to read out loud, Craig? Um, yeah, it says uh, Noak is seriously punching above his weight with Sinclair Johnson. <laughs> I, I watched the Emma Averson vlog and thought he was Sinclair's brother. I don't know, I don't know about that. I, yeah. I don't know the second part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. No. I mean, I'd like to think I wasn't punching by my way at one point. But now, <laughs> obviously. So you're not sleeping tonight. Sure. Um, all right. So, so, so beer. Yeah, I do want to know, know what you'd have, it, what it takes for a beer mile. Like, what, what do you think? Can you, can you chug a beer? Yeah, yeah, I can chug a beer. Can you chug four beers? Like in a I, relatively yeah, short amount I, of time. I, I believe so. It's like because I think we can up this this bonus if you can break five in a beer mile. I think oh, we'll we'll throw a couple more G's into this uh, mix five here. Used to, used to be like a crazy thing. It used to be crazy, um, and that's but that's why I. Have you got into five? Oh, I don't know a, a lot. 20, 30, I don't know. Every time, <laughs> yeah, I've probably done it. I don't know. I've probably done 100 in my life. No, 100's a lot. Wow. 50, 50 maybe. All right, here's my 100. formula I'm, co- I'm throwing out there. Okay, let's hear it. Your mile PR plus sitting at a bar, sober, everything, chug four beers plus 20 seconds. No, because for you, plus, plus 20 or minus why is 20? Your mile time so bad. I, it is, man. I know. You're I'm right slow. Your mile time? And, and uh, four, 413 on? mile PR, 437 beer mile. All right, so plus ten <laughs> seconds. It's a percent. of the chug. So, or the but mile. I actually think it's chugging is important. That's a lot of time. But if you're good at chugging, you actually go faster in the beer mile than chugging four in a row because four in a row is harder than one per minute because you have a t- it has time to settle when you're running. Okay, so I can't chug four in a row, row in that same amount of time. So would you be able to take your mile PR and then chug four in a row faster than your beer mile PR? Wait, no, 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 because I can't chug four in a row. Like, so what? Four? Well, you're not still a four thirteen guy, right? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, there's not really any racing opportunities when you're my age, unfortunately. So I didn't quite make qualify for the Kansas City qualifier. <laughs> yeah. So I don't really know what I'm capable of here. I'd like to think I could be like a four oh eight to four oh nine guy, but I'm not a four flat guy. No way. Would you say the average man's conversion is from LPR? Oh, it's totally to all over the board. Right. Yeah. Totally. So I, I think chug four in a row, but even potentially, even potentially subtract from that. What? Six fifty. What is it? Bad. I mean, okay, maybe you're the you're the co captain of beermile. Dot com. I listened to David Melly's, and that's all I needed to know. I think you're done. Four. I think you've done a, f- but maybe, but you've also never done one in good running shape. I'll give you that. You're in better running shape now than you've ever been doing a beer mile. Oh, doing a beer mile. Sure, right, sure. right, right. All your beer miles over the past couple say, years, I've, you were kind of yeah, being a lazy ass and not bad, training yeah. well. So, yeah. I, That's cool. How did you guys meet? What is the situation? We I don't bo- really know the history at all. We we went, sure at home, you went to Iowa State. You went to Iowa State. Yes, together. but we didn't meet not each other at the same there. time because I'm a little bit older than okay. him. Uh, Chris but then old. basically you guys on the team at Iowa State or no, no? No. Run no. club? Run club. Iowa State has a huge run club. Huge yeah. run club. Yep. I know this. Yep. Yeah. That's right. I mean, they're almost worthy of the lap count. They're getting getting to that size, but hey, I uh, mean, I don't like know. my senior year, I didn't even make the A team. He didn't eat, yeah, he didn't you even make the, the club varsity team. You didn't make club the varsity team. A Dude. team of the B team. I Yeah, basically. Right. Basically. Right. Yeah. I running and I have a complicated relationship. Do you tell? No, I like it. You know how like people who used to be like kind of respectable are just like not fast anymore for like six years. And then now they're like trying a little harder. That's, that's where I'm yeah. at. Yeah. That's, that, where I'm that's at. him. That's him. Oh, dog. <laughs> Hooking us up with beers. Dog. 
Eli, thank you, sir. Eli, the man. You, Look at we this. Might, we might oh, have man. to. <laughs> thank you. We might have to get <laughs> Eli on the on the show soon. Kyle, uh, you need a. Yeah, need a I drink. Also need there we go. Food or water at some point. There is water up there. Uh, where what? We're thinking of waiting online at Arthur Bryan's for two hours. I don't think so. Really? What's a, what's what's in Arthur Bryan? I have no oh, idea. Barbecue. Like a big barbecue spot here. Oh sure. Oh okay. Thank you, Eli. Oh God. So yeah. to to finish off right, answering on, your question, it. Kyle, I basically got Adam all of his jobs. So I graduated Iowa State when he graduated Iowa State. Okay. I referred him in to work at Accenture with me, and then I left Accenture Startup to work boys. for a startup, and I pulled him to the startup. Startup boys. Yeah, <laughs> so we've so we've always worked together as well, and now we also live in the same condo building. So hey, look at that! Works out to be business partners when you live in the same building. Really convenient during COVID. You live actually. in the same building. Yeah, have worked for the same three companies and yes. started a company on together. your own. Yeah, wait, you're so calling, we work you're together. You're calling Beer My Media Company now. That's I mean, it is kind of strange that we not work a, together. Not a, not not a, a good a profitable <laughs> company. It's a company. It's a company. It's, a company. it's, a company. it's sure. got a checking account. It's yeah. got a yeah. I mean. Yeah, we were. <laughs> it's got, it's got a lined checking account. We work together at our day jobs, and Are then we work together at our at night the jobs. Day job? What's that? Are you? His he, he kind uh, of was. You kind I of were. actually was at the kind startup, of. kind of, kind of. But now Chris, we're Chris is like a product separate. guy, and I'm just like a one in zero type of bitch, you know? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Any follow-up questions, Chris? <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. So there's the there's the origin your, story. Your beer mile PR would be faster. I mean, I I set that 650 like last summer when I was running like 15 you were, miles I, a week. Yeah, that's generous. Yeah, 15 a week. That's like running that's twice. It's like slow to beer mile. No, I, I, I told them the idea. If you want to know a way to lose 20. a bunch of money, it's have to pay insurance I know. for a beer mile for alcohol to I track. Know. It's okay, expensive. it's interesting because beer. Like mile, in the U.S., it's very tough because like all the tracks three. are is the hardest. private schools to, or, or all right, public here's schools. Here's the idea. Either one. How many people are in the group chat the now? Fifty-two. All right. Here's my idea. Let's hear it. It's a beer mile travel race trip or like excursion. Like you guys take everyone to Germany, you show them around. You guys are trying different breweries. You're going to different beer gartens, and then there at the is. end. It's like kind of like a running getaway camp vacation, and then at the end you have a, a beer mile race. That's that's that a great idea. Uh, uh, Bailey, it sounds like you might make money. Don't do it. <laughs> so, I mean, speaking of ways to lose money, actually, one of our ideas for the site is uh, out of everyone who registers for our site and just creates an account, uh, we'll pick one person randomly and we'll pay for their trip to go watch the beer mile world championship with us. Yeah. So speaking of ways to lose money, we have that one on our we're really on good our list too. Yeah, obviously, nice little thousand dollars to go with us to to England. What, you know? you, what are the Wives and fiancés say about this whole thing. Um, she's still waiting on the profit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, it's, it's they're not, con uh, they're confident in us. Though. Yeah, they're confident. Yeah. yeah, they know it's a slow burn situation. They're happy to see you happy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> True. Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, the idea for like an elite beer mile in a perfect world where like insurance isn't. The big thing I've always told I, I was telling Chris, I think when we had this conversation back in November, uh, the way to do it is do it in New York right after Fifth Ave. People end their yeah. season at Fifth Ave. Yeah. You don't have to take care of their travel. This is very much the same reason why Hoka Long Island piggybacked off of Fifth Avenue Mile as well, taking like advantage of the fact that the pros are in town. And then yeah. people's seasons are over. You find a good track in New York and you just do it, I think. After yeah. Fifth Ave. There, still, there have been there have been in. quite a few. Probably anyone interested that's a pro that we've interviewed has been like, yeah, we'll do it. So there's got to be a like a brewery or conglomerate out there that is. You would think. Do you, you have a sponsor? I know you're like kind of a blue moon guy, but like you're doing that for free. Uh, that that was. For those that still think it wasn't an April Fool's joke, it was an April Fool's but joke. But do you drink Blue Moon? Yeah, I do yeah. drink Blue Moon for it. Yeah, But I would gladly, I think well, I could I, switch I to something. It's, so, not, it's not fizzy. It's not as fizzy as Budweiser, basically. It's, uh, and and it also, it's it's quicker out of a bottle, and you twist the twist top. There's not that many beers that come in a bottle on a twist top. Uh, so the, the options are very limited. What about yeah. Corona? Yeah. I feel like Corona would be good. Corona is not, I don't think Corona's 5%. 5%. Yeah. That's where the AB... That's where the ABV might get you. Yes. Yes. What does uh, Corey Bellmore drink? 
He has a Canadian beer, like Kingfisher. Kingfisher. Oh, okay. So this is obviously we're not previewing Kansas City in any way, <laughs> shape, or form. Corey, Belmore is, in the Corey Belmore is here. Corey Belmore is now in the race. He is. What is your 15? relationship like? Oh, we're, we're going to do a podcast with him tomorrow. Like so it's a great. Friendly one? Yeah, of course oh, it's friendly. Oh, Corey Belmore is my guy. Like, no, he's my guy. Of course, what, of course, the, I would love hey, to beat him. What's Corey Belmore's mile beer mile PR? His Fourth mile foot. PR. Way better. Yeah, yeah. Way better. 357 mile PR, 433 beer mile PR. No offense. Okay. Oh, wow. yeah, it is way better. Yeah. I'm not going to beat him in a real race. Like, I know that. Wait, wait. You've got to get better at brewing. He's got to get better at chugging. Correct. That is absolutely so whoever correct. whoever does either one first. Correct. Yep. Looking at Yep. Maybe a title change, huh? <laughs> that, no. what's, the, what's the lifetime record between you guys? Oh, he's beat me every time. Really? Yeah. Te- wait, technic. Oh, he got DQ'd <laughs> once, but I got DQ'd in the same race. <laughs> so he's undefeated up. against me. No, for they measure the amount of foam you have left in your bottle. Really? Yeah. And if you have a little bit too much over, then you're DQ'd. And we both had a little too much in the same race. Really? So in yeah. your conversations that you've had with pros over the last couple months, like who have you started to feel like would be a really strong beer mile competitor? Because like, right? There's so much hype around. I, I've always said Jenkins is like think the good. top, the favorite in a race like that. There's obviously a lot of hype around Angles, but I don't necessarily yeah, think it'd be he. That he great. said he wouldn't. He said he wouldn't be good and then, at chugging. And then he's, he's, he's not. He's not good at chugging. Yeah. Sleeper. Johnny would be amazing. Johnny. So I've heard Pat Casey as well. I mean Craig. We're we're all in on Craig at this point. So. As a I mean, company, we are only like, backing Craig. This is I'm I'm starting to believe this is like your idea is who drinks who you think drinks the most beer oh. and runs the fast mile, but like chugging's a whole different animal. Right? It is a different person. that yeah. yeah. I know it is Eric, the chug. Jenkins has a great chug. And that's that's why I think Eric could be seen. good. One, yeah, it's really it, good. It's <laughs> interesting when we we pretty much ask every guest, do you think you could be good at the beer mile? And ninety percent of them, well, I guess I'd say ninety plus percent of them say I would absolutely do it, like at fit that mile. Yeah. And then Probably like seventy percent are like saying yes, I would crush a beer mile. Like people are confident. Wow. So, Sage Sage heard uh, uh, last weekend when we interviewed her. She what said is the women's be good at record it. right now? Six sixteen. That feels like it that can, can really like go down. It feels like the, any really stud. The, ever the woman it. that has the world record. I mean, I know she's. I don't know what she's run for a mile. I know she's running the thirty twos for ten k. So she's yeah. a fast. She's fast. But no one's ever like sub four thirty in the mile. No, definitely no no sub four fifteen hundred or sub four thirty miler women have done it that I know of. And and that's what is different. Like every Corey Belmore is the only guy that does it. That is like a pro runner like all the rest of us are basically chumps that are like not that fast but we can chug i would see claire do i don't no nah, not not four, good. the, the like, problem is I the volume like get through two, four, first four beers pretty well lot. but lap three and four i'm struggling no i mean it's, lap, it's, a, it's, a, lot of it's a lot of liquid so wait what about you kyle what do you think um i like beer yeah have you never done one of course beer um uh, but i am not a good chugger okay uh, yeah, although okay. whatever I drank, what was the first, the Montu or whatever? Those are not mine. Um, I, that would seem very chuggable, but no, I'm not a great chugger. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But it can be learned. That's yeah, the thing. I'm sure I would. Would you run? I'd run 649. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I was there. I saw it, you know. <laughs> My PR is 848, but I haven't even broken five in the regular miles. So I can't even speak. Have September, early September. Yeah. Why do you wear flats when you do it? No, you did. He did it in. I last time I did it in the next percents because I didn't have the dragonflies yet. But now I have the dragonflies, so we're good. Officially, do we officially come out? in support and say that like next percents and on the track are they yeah are they legal for the beer mile i don't know would you frown upon me if i were next percents on the track for my mile Why not? only if you then didn't break five <laughs> yeah that's like you gotta you gotta double down when you're wearing those yeah never mind I'm just gonna stick to the spikes and then sit and kick on gladwell what's yeah, yeah what's what's uh training been like are you looking forward Training's to it's may all right may 21st right yeah. i've got three three weeks to get really fit 
we'll see how that goes. But the exclusive to the 52 viewers is that while training has been like all about gearing up for five minute pace, race day I'm going to sit and kick. Like, so they know. Glad we're out there. This right now. But <laughs> what race is it? It's just a mile. The trials of miles in New York. There's gonna be a little oh. exhibition mile at the very beginning of the meet nice. with me. One of the guys from The Bachelorette. It's going to be kind of like a let's get some viewers up on the stream before the pros start. Nice. I think we need more like celebrity miles. That would be pretty fun. Yeah. Everyone can run one mile. Yeah. It'd be, fun. It'd be fun getting them to all race each other. Like a grab bag of celebrities. Well, the hope is that like if we did another like Trials and Miles meet after the trials and after the Olympics, something in the fall maybe, like, and we got, if pe people wanted to, go after bonuses or whatever it was i want to implement like the average joe in every single race like you can get fans involved you can get just a hold a contest for people to come out and sign up we'll do a lottery if you get picked you get entered in the 5k so it'll be like i don't know paul chalimo lopez lamong and then some average joe and that person <clears throat> has to run that race preferably in like lane three or four so they don't get in anyone's sort of way the entire time but for the viewer at home you get to see that's where the average joe would be in comparison to these superhumans that we have competing on the track i like that on the shorter events the longer stuff is could you imagine like, that in the 10k like some the 10K. some poor soul <laughs> game on average <laughs> joe so <laughs> yeah I, so maybe you cut it off at no, 5K would be fine, and if you implement, you know, beer coin into it, you could start putting down bets on like how many times is the how average show going to get they lapped? Get lapped? Yeah, is it over under one and a half, or you know, what is the average Joe's over under going to be on their time and all that kind of stuff? There's ways of getting really creative with it. So always bet the over. Always bet the over. So you're going to let one average Joe in the race for anytime? every race. Like I want to see it in the hundred. I want to see it in the. 1500 like i want to like see a lottery system it. yeah and then and the thing is it's like you know in a city like new york you've got plenty of people to pull from but if you give people enough advance notice like if you host this race in like la or something like that then uh give them a month maybe the average joe has a month to train for it but they can you know plan their travel and they get to be a part of a really cool experience where they get to say hey i raced against that olympian on tv what qualifies the average joe good because question maybe, some people train I would say you'd have to tell us your PRs if you've ever run on the track before, why you want to do it or something like that. It'd be yeah. a little like application involved for the whole thing. Yeah. And then like you can get really selective with it. So Yeah, what's like the fastest average Joe you would allow? Because like I'm like, an average Joe probably. You would be you'd be a good average Joe. <laughs> uh, like someone who's like fresh out of college that's and competed in college, that's not an average Joe. Yeah. Like we need you to be a little hardened from from like real life. Like you're you're working a full nine to five. You're you're running thirty miles a week, and that's about it. Maybe you do one workout a week. That that qualifies, I think, as an average show. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like this concept. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to see that maybe like later on at a meet later this year. But yeah, this I think the trials of miles here in Kansas City and the one in New York because there's Olympic trials qualifications. Like it's a little bit too serious to have like an average show. I'll take one. Doing a doing a beer call. Yeah, low ABV. Low ABV. Low ABV. I I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's all on the finite. Hey, it's a write off. No, it's on my. It's time. it's a write off, folks. <laughs> still um, still yeah, a write off. I run poorly tomorrow. I'm blaming the beer mile. David Ribich is asking if I'm going for sub five this weekend. No, May twenty first. Dave Ribich, what a guy. Ribich, my guy. Dave, Troy. you didn't. Dave, you didn't send in a roast. I'm kind of. I'm kind of butthurt. Brian Troy coming, uh, commenting here. He's actually going to be the pacer for my mile. He's flying in from Boulder, Colorado to pace in this What a race. guy. I mean, the ultimate, you know, uh, good guy. Do you have any good uh, questions or topics people want us to talk about? I just want to say that there was one point in time Sinclair was punching above her weight. <laughs> just to just to be clear <laughs> it's the, the time has passed uh <laughs> someone it happened someone's asking if oh this is for kyle if long island miles happening this year Kyle's getting who else is there uh 
Wait, so you guys in Cam- oh, there you go in, in Texas. You guys did your red carpet. Are you guys bringing it back? What do you have in in store for? Oh, for it's not. We're not going to be wearing suits. I'll tell you that. You guys were wearing overalls, right? Last time in in Texas, yes. Yeah. Tomorrow we will not be wearing the same outfits. Different outfit. Okay. Yeah, so we, we got to go with the theme. So in Texas we wore the jorts. Well, he wore he wore the overalls, and then we had the the hats and the belt buckles. But we're, we have something. So it took us a little bit of thought. Actually, it took a friend to suggest something. Uh, what would be like? What do you think of when you think of Kansas City? And we couldn't really think of anything. Yeah, so we couldn't. That that's not the theme. We couldn't really think of anything, so it's more of a Midwest theme. We'll put it that way. So we are going to show up with something more ridiculous than last time. Midwest? And I'm thinking, like, farmers and corn? You're getting closer. <laughs> you are getting closer. It's not farmers, but you're getting closer. With the corn? Are corn. you wearing a corn? Out? No, not, oh. no corn. No corn. <laughs> but it, but it's, it's, it's another activity that many, many farmers like to do. I mean, a tractor, lot of urban people like to do as well. Coming in on a tractor. Oh, that would be. It's going to be oh. full on John Deere. Like, yeah, why don't we have a lead? The lead car is the tractor for this race. I mean, what are we? What were we thinking? We don't. We don't need people like I've Craig Pace. Yeah, we just facility. get a tractor. The facility looks really nice. Oh, you were? Did you go yeah, to the track there today? How yeah, was the, it? The track was nice. It's a good track. Was there it? Did go. it feel windy? Every single time I'm talking to people about it, like it was windy. Kansas City, really? Yeah. It's windy. Where? Okay. Like on the back stretch or the whole entire thing? I mean, there was just a wind coming in there. Like, oh, it was kind of it was crosswind. Crosswind. But your race, oh, that'd be good. Your race is at like it's like nine p.m. Yeah, something like that. Late, so it late. should be wind but, should be I mean, minimal. Yeah, hopefully, the west in the spring is like what do you expect? It's gonna be windy. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's supposed sure. to be like what high seventies, eighty maybe during the day, but then it'll cool off at night. Yeah, okay. I mean, I was, it was kind of windy in Eugene when we really? ran pretty fast. So yeah. You know. Yeah, the the announcers at the Drake Relays kept like complaining about the wind, even though it wasn't. We were in Des Moines that day, and it wasn't that windy. I mean, it was sure it was like windy enough where it could affect your times to some extent, but it wasn't like uh, like I have no chance of running anything decent at all because of the wind Did you guys type get of deal. Into the stadium? No, we didn't go in. We just watched it on you know we watched it at home on <laughs> HD and uh, oh thank you sir. There we go. Thanks, Kyle. The bone yard. Thank you, Kyle. So what number steeple is this for you? How many steeples this year? In my, in my life, or? I guess both life and this year is number two, right? So what is it for life? Life, it's got to be within ten. That's I thought. 10. Yeah, I didn't think you did yeah, many of them. Okay, okay. So what yeah. do you do? You well, practice the hurdling much or no? Um, when I was at Furman Elite, we did. Okay. Yeah. Lately, I haven't. I haven't done much. I've done like one hurdle workout and then like some strides were hurdles. Yeah, I was gonna ask. Last year, zero steeple opportunities yeah, for anyone because of right. COVID. I didn't do anything last year. You didn't hurdle once last. Year. I mean, I I did like in February. Yeah, but before everything, and then nothing for like a year. Okay. And then, uh, oh, oh boy. So then, presents. When was your first hurdle workout this year? Um, let's or, see. Or was it, was it last like fall? Early April. Early April. Really? Yeah. Um, I just kind of been winging it, to be honest, with the hurdles. Yeah. Like, no, no pacer lights tomorrow because uh, I think because the, there's NCA athletes competing, and there was a whole debacle with the D2 stuff, and they, the oh. rules for NCAA oh, say sure. that if there's pace lights, the marks don't count. You have to. Yeah, commit. commit. So we're doing the old school way, just relying on pacers. Okay. I mean, I don't really. Ch- I'm not a big guy. Uh, Did you refill him, or is that half? No, dude, he just. Isn't that look crazy? That it feels like it feels like I took one. <laughs> I took how one it, how beer. is this? This. Go down. Yeah. I took one beer and it made two or three quarters <laughs> beers. <laughs> Do more. Yeah. <laughs> Keep making more beers. <laughs> so. The, satisfied everyone <laughs> I, I was curious though on the pacing side is that like a job that's uh, gonna go away or will there always be a pacer because no, no, it's no. about the wind blocking I think, I think I'll pace for a while. okay like, I, I didn't know I about think, the just because the light like, Rut was doing it for a bit he was pacing. Pacing. but I, we talk about Matt Shear at all Matt Shear, I, mean, I, I talked to Matt Shear like a ton of money because yeah, yeah. of what uh, records like Radisha he was like I want Matt Shear there yeah I mean pick a person to, yeah the thing is you can just negotiate and 
ask yes, for what's point. like you don't have to do it for two hundred dollars if you don't yeah, want to. Yeah, certain point they're they're gonna need someone. Yeah. They're gonna need right. they're gonna want they're gonna want yeah. you then. And once you get a reputation being good at it, right? It's like people yeah. will pay the premium. Yeah, I would love to do some diamond looks. I mean I can do the steeple too, so yeah. That's super that's yeah. nice. you'll actually get paid a ton for that. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I, I I think even after I'm done like competing, I would like to just pace as much as I can here and, and just just I for fun. That. But the thing is, like, <laughs> to pace, you don't want to to pace these races, I have to be in, like, com- yeah. competitive. Just say, yeah. So, wait, how does one pace a steeple? Like, is it, it's a normal race, but then the water barriers and stuff, like, how far does yeah. the pacer go usually? I don't know. Most most I've seen go, like, 1,500. I can't like, remember the guy's there. name. There's one guy who did it all Heron the time. Scott. Heron Legat, yeah. Did it. Yeah. He's U.S. Yeah. 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 He, did, he did Eugene, too. Yeah. So, yeah. when... What if you're what if you're the steeple pacer and you go down like in the water barrier? Back? I was thinking like, the I feel like exact that's same thing. You don't get you don't get invited back. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. The steeple's a weird one to pace because like they have to be a good hurdler. Right. Yeah. Just gonna screw them up. Right. Like, if you're funky with the hurdles. So what's your? I mean, th- when you watch like some of the Kenyans and Ethiopians like do going over the water barrier, they like try and clear it without even like jumping off yeah. of it sometimes. Uh, what's your technique and like how's it different? Um, you just your normal? I don't think too hard about it. I just kind of use a normal technique, and I usually have one foot in, one foot out. I'm never yeah. trying to clear it. Does, so does like Jager a, do anything crazy? I don't think so. Just like six, eight or something. Yeah, he just has the stride length. Yeah. 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 So I feel like most people are like one foot in, one foot out. To be honest, I, right. I, like, I don't study the event that much. Um, just go maybe with the flow. I should. Maybe I should. Talk to your coach about it. Yeah, talk to your coach. I'll, 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 I'll get back to him in a second. <laughs> I'll talk to him. Do we have any good questions? What's the food you can eat your body weight in? Listener question. Thank you for sending that. Uh, your body weight in pizza. How long do I have? Nothing. We can eat anything our body weight. No. <laughs> I mean, shit. How much does an average pizza weigh? Like a couple. A pound, two pounds. One of the questions that I've seen is like, how long would it take you to drink an Olympic sized swimming pool? Probably years, right? Maybe no, I don't I drink enough water. Chlorine? <laughs> no, like fill it up with like smart good. water. Yeah. I've I have no concept. Or like eat an entire supermarket. I don't think you could do that in a <laughs> lifetime. So yeah. 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 Beyond multiple lifetimes, I feel like it's impossible. Do you still ask the Half court. Yeah, yeah. Still yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. Yeah. If you get twenty five shots from half court on a basketball court, and if you make one, you win twenty five million dollars. If you don't make any, you go to jail for twenty five years. Would you attempt the shots? I would attempt it. Man, in America, that's saying something. I, I would attempt. Running it. version of the question: You have twenty attempts to hit sixty point zero without a clock. 60.0? Yeah. How many how many decimals are there? 20. Let's say let's say you go 59.9 to 60.1. You have 20 chances to hit 60.0. I would do that for sure. What's the consequence? What's that? 25 oh, yeah. Or 25 million? Yeah. You think you could do it? 60 oh, for sure. I think that something that is the most one of the most impressive things to non-runners or non-elite yeah. runners is how precise like we can be. I, I gotta, I gotta say, I can. Pacing business. <laughs> there, yeah. There's a, there's a, okay. There's another this. challenge question. The eight, sixteen, twenty four. Uh, so you uh, have to pick one: run, eat donuts, and drink beers. Oh, just eight. Oh, eight, sixteen, twenty four. Right. So right. eliminating. In one day. In one day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ryan Phillips. Listen, that, I'm almost positive the origin of that is. Columbia related. Like I think I think a guy on Columbia's team and a guy on Portland's team basically came up with that. Big donut and, and beer drinkers. Pop- eight eight they donuts. popularized that. And we had a guy on our team do it in like ten hours. Yeah. I heard I think Eric can do it. I mean ten hours throw Kyle, names out. Kyle, there. ten hours is a is a day. Ten hours is a full day. Two it's what? Ten hours. Full day. Full day. Yeah. 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 Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Like a full like day of you doing stuff. No, yeah, that would be exhausting. You'd probably feel like shit afterwards. Eight, eight donuts, sixteen beers, twenty-four miles for sure. Yeah, 
24 miles? I'd probably, ooh. I'd get 18 miles, 24 beers, and, because you have 24 hours, so you could do it 12, take a, oh, take so a you're nap. you're not trying to do it as fast as possible. No, no, I just try yeah, to do Yeah, yeah, 24 hours. Yeah. I'd I, probably do, I would definitely not 24 beers. That's course, have, you, have you thought about going for this? Yeah. This sounds the like world easy. record? Honestly, this sounds like easy work. You did a, you did a, a century oh. week in like five days? No, I didn't do it in five days. I took my time. I I think I heard a century week only counts if every mile sub six. Is that's, that is that what it is? Shit. That's what I heard. That's like a rumor. Out you talked to like Wisconsin guys? Yeah, yeah. like the old Colorado guy thing. It's like, sure. If you didn't break six, it doesn't count. I mean, oh geez. I would, I would just not wear my GPS too. watch. I just wear my Timex and say, yeah, that's, you know. Yeah. It's Jerry Miles. Yeah, Jerry Miles, but Jerry six Miles. flats instead of seven flats. I, I think if you're going for the absolute fastest you can do it, you got to do eight beers, 16 donuts, 24 miles. Yeah. Because you could just run the 24 miles right up front, and then donuts would be easier. You could pound an extra eight donuts easier than you could pound eight beers. If you're going for, like, absolute speed. But it's, if for fun, I would rather do eight donuts, 16 beers, 24 miles. 24 miles is a lot to do when you're consuming. Oh, 20, that's one run. Come on. See, that's see, this is why he's not good at the beer mile because he's uh he's afraid to go for a long run. That's the issue. Dude, I was getting dragged today. I I mean, that's 24 it was miles. Hot. It was hotter than we're used to today. That's for sure. sure. Spring is here. Summer, well, summer is here in reality. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, here's a good one. Also from Ryan Phillips. Uh, how many pitches until you can hit a hundred mile per hour fastball? I wouldn't. Uh, oh well. Wait, how many pitches? How many pitches would it take? Yeah, more than a hundred, I think. Oh, to hit, to hit it. Throw the bat out there. Oh, that's true. Does bunting yeah, count? That doesn't work. Bunting no, you probably gotta, you doesn't count. I would just you swing it every single month. These are like icebreaker questions at a bar usually. <laughs> What's that one? What did he just drop now? Ryan Dunning. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, you guys should recruit a pro and do the thing Jared Goff and Chris Bryant did. Bring them to a D3 school as a as a transfer for a workout and then have them fake being slow at the beginning and then just completely like destroy the workout. <laughs> That's really good. Be like un I'm undercover go track recruit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where are you going back to school? Uh, Sounds like a fun hustle. You can do that like at a... And then they have like an annual beer mile at the end of the year. And, and like, I'm just oh, like, in, yeah, I'm really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> just like jogging seven minute miles. Like, yeah. oh, this is all out today. This is all out. And then, but then at the beer mile, I actually throw down. Yeah. 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 All right. So to preview the Kansas City qualifier a little bit. What, what, oh, yeah. What, what, uh, what yeah. race are you looking forward to the most? Aside from my, my his, guy. Aside from his. Okay. Aside from his. I mean, so I've never seen a pro steeple in person from the infield. So I think both the steeples, men's and women's. You're not supposed to chant cannonball anymore. At this level. <laughs> is that that's so, out. so that's not cool anymore? Yeah, okay, dang out. it. That was my idea going in. I thought it was a fresh yeah. idea. Dang, yeah. I, I think I think we might think that's funny in the middle of the race. No, we don't want to mess up her concentration. Anyone's I would concentration. Feel horrible. Yeah. So I think men's and women's steeple. I'd say the other one is actually uh just sprint hurdle hurdle sprints seeing that from the i've never seen that races. as well <laughs> I yeah can't believe i believe i've called those races um how much done. research have you done well chris is doing the majority of the research then i read the you're research, the note guy but i'm the play-by-play -play on that and i just like for 13 seconds i don't know what to say yeah i guess yeah I know. What, what, what here we go oh, oh it's like, the live audience is growing, y'all. I want to give a Popping shout out off. just to the men's 1500 because I really like this range of guys who are all like 339, 340 guys. Because one of these guys is going to break out. This They're going to break out. And you don't know who it is right now. And yep. I think that's really exciting because a lot of these athletes have just the issue of getting into races and be, having that opportunity to demonstrate their fitness and – this is a really good showcase to see which of the bunch of these fringe guys who are trying to get in the Olympic trials has the potential to like do something big this year. That's a great point. So if out of that field for the 1500, do you have your eye on anyone who you think is going to... Right? Yeah, so Belmore, of course. I know he's come back from an injury, yep. but Belmore, he's probably arguably one of the more established guys. In the yeah, he was trending upward in 2019 before he had, you know, a stress fracture, the eating disorder that he like talked yep. about before. And yeah. 
So yeah, I mean, and then the pandemic hit. So. But where, yeah, where does his training in 2021 has been yeah. on point? So okay, and then two other guys I'm looking at: Eric Colt, who biased. He's an Empire Elite, Elite track club guy, but he won the the second heat in Texas. Yeah. And I know he the workouts he's been doing. He's really fit. Like he looks great. And then another guy is Brett Meyer, who is doing mm. really well. Small school. Coming big out of dreams. College, big dreams. <laughs> plug. We'll see if oh, Dave is still in the chat. See if Dave is still out there. <laughs> We're Mr. Gonna get a Mr. Ribbit. Now. Uh, <laughs> Drop the Amazon link he's now. Big, he's got big dreams. But uh, <laughs> local. Like a local yeah. kid. Yeah. And yeah. I know that the first time he ever broke four was at the Festival of Miles in St. Louis. So he's demonstrated his ability to run well. With in the, the pressure on in the Midwest, <laughs> in the heat, in the humidity, storms on the forecast. On a Saturday. <laughs> on Saturdays. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's just another guy that I think could potentially really have a breakout. Yeah. I'm trying to think what other race stood out to me. Women's 15 was was looking pretty good. Uh, the women's 5K had some strong names in there. I think Laura Galvin, who won the 1500, might be in the... What about the 800? 800, we got Sawinski. Yeah. Uh, oh, Sawinski. Yeah. Sawinski, and then... Sawinski's the guy. Uh, Tonitu Alvarez, who took Isaiah Harris to the line I in... him in Portland a couple years ago. Yeah. Oh, my God. When he's on, he's on. And so, I think... Uh, yeah, if things are going really well for him since Austin, then... And he's only gotten better. He gave Isaiah Harris a little bit of a scare there when Isaiah Harris is probably like the heavy favorite in that race. And Sawinski, I would say, is maybe the favorite in this race too because, I mean, he just ran a PR indoors. Yep. I've always thought that Sawinski was a much better indoor runner than outdoors, even though he's made one outdoor team for Worlds. It's just because he's always on and not everyone else is always on. He also travels a he ton. Miss. Yeah. Oh, his like, his range in a race is like one and a half seconds. Like yeah, eight hundred like, for for ten years. Yep. It's, it's always crazy. like around like one forty four or high to like low one forty six. Yeah. Not to mention being like 31, 32 yeah, maybe thirty one and doing the yeah. eight hundred. Yeah. That's kind of unheard of. Is he still based in Iowa City? Like, Sawinski was my hometown hero growing up because yeah. he was a few years older than me, and I was always watching him now growing up there. I think he's unsponsored and... again. Um, Joyce Camelli is in the women's 5K. Yes. We're going to see the NCAA champ come out. She's going to probably crush her 5K PR. Yeah, her 5K PR is like 16-something. Judd is here. Jessica Judd. Oh, yeah. 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 What a stud to have in. I think she's like one of three people who competed in like the UK last week, and I'm like, that is a long way to come yeah. from yep. the UK the to Kansas City. Is very good. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of sub 15:30 potential women. In the field, Absolutely. So. Absolutely. Yeah. It'll be a great night. Action starts at 6:45. Oh man. Why is that directed towards Chris? Instead of like his. All right. Perfect. Question was Adam doesn't have the mic. Question was Don. Cur Don Cabral's chances of making what was it? Third Olympic team. I was just looking at this as an outsider. I would say you never count. Never count. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, there's always like a twenty five percent chance. But but Craig's gonna displace him. So there's one, and then who else? Together, they're crossing the finish line. They're holding hands down to the thousand. And so I was looking at this actually today while doing a bunch of the write ups for like my notes. And Don is always like Don's PR is like eight twenty something, right? Well, no, eight thirteen. Eight thirteen. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. eight thirteen. Right, that's moving from Eugene in two thousand and sixteen. Yeah, I really, I really should have asked on. Kyle on this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> wait. Oh, you said it was for Chris, not the oh not the God. listener. <laughs> Why I is think... it for Chris? Come on, we are the, we are media. Yeah. We know this. We had a weird year we last Don year. Oh, Come on, two years ago. Don has had the weirdest five years possible. Yeah. He got his JD MBA, or is like finishing up at UConn. He's now training down in Philly with his fiance. Like, she's not training as well, but that's where they live. And but like he can turn it on, and he has this way about him that he can flip the switch, and the the switch has been off. Honestly, he's been coasting. He's been resting on the laurel. But he wants to make this team, and he does this thing. It's crazy when he's really serious. He starts eating yogurt out of, like, a gigantic carton, 
he just pours a ton of honey in it and like that's where he gets all of his energy and i believe the yogurt has re-entered the system Done. did you Done. ever get a yogurt spot going to this yeah <laughs> honestly yeah no <laughs> what um, Sorry, but he's on he's on right out, now <laughs> you're crazy if you're sleeping on don uh, plus, like he had, he, he just he ran like his two fastest five Ks last year. <laughs> so he's been focusing on the strength side of things. So he ran a two eighteen marathon just for fun. Look, you don't want to count out a yeah. steeple chaser who gets over the hurdles like a four inch hurdle. Yeah, very good point. I think in the last lap, uh, watching the sixteen trials last lap when Stanley Cabeni, I think, like kind of chokes it away at the end, but Don just comes charging. One of the epic. And moments. also pour one out for our boy Andy Bayer. Uh, yeah, love the guy. One of the nicest guys. This podcast is okay, but one of the best podcasts of all time. I don't even know if this will be in the podcast. Oh, this is, this is going out tonight, man. We're dedicated. One of the best podcasts ever would have been in 2019 in my parents' backyard. Andy Bayer and Morgan McDonald just talking, and Morgan McDonald asking him a million questions about training at Indiana and Bowerman. It, it's like. It's a shame I didn't have the recorder on. It was really oh, cool. Oh, no. Because it was like passing on all the information to the next generation of like how he had done things. You didn't record it? No, I was just like drinking coffee. And being oh. like, this is really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to include in the lap count someday. <laughs> <laughs> Missed opportunity. <laughs> uh, but yeah, don't sleep on Don. Don't sleep on Craig. And yeah. that's your Olympic team. They're, people are competing for one spot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think. Plus, we, Evan Jager is is still asleep. He's, he's, he's going. To I, I heard he's pretty good. The beast yeah, I heard he's point. heard he's pretty good. Heard he's pretty fit. What is the steeple opportunity he's going to do between now and the trials? Sound running going to have anything? No, there's Portland Track Fest. Oh, okay. And then some town. I mean, there's also the one in New York, but okay. Yeah. Look, it's if you just put Evan on the line, yeah. he can do. It. So, not too worried. He stays fit. Yeah. Is Hillary Bohr scary to like compete against? Not scary. But just like knowing what his I credentials mean, are and all that. Yeah, I mean, Hillary just a guy you know is always gonna be pushing the pace and get yeah. in front. You know, very consistent. Yeah. Even on a bad day. Intimidated. Don, right? No, I'm, I honestly don't really get intimidated. By you don't it. seem like the type. No, it's just yeah. like, I don't know. I'm having a good time with it. He's wearing but, a t-shirt uh, out there. <laughs> yeah, like, most intimidating in general. I don't know. It's a good question. I would imagine, like, racing, like, Chilimo in the 5K would be oh, pretty yeah. intimidating. You Dude, know, racing. Chilimo Lopez. Not right. Uh, you know, Rupp in his heyday. I don't know. But, like, it's not intimidating. Paul has this very sly move that he pulls in which he lets the whole field think he's not going to go and then like at 100 150 in once it starts to slow Sprint. down he just takes off yeah and everyone falls for it every time well it was like what two years ago it was just full on fart leg. that was the best yeah that was the best yeah. five race i've seen that yeah. was ridiculous yeah. but the, lopez Woody 2019 and, oh, wait, yeah. and paul yeah. yeah that was the best 5k i've seen in my Bartlett, life fart like central but that's why yelling. he is i was yelling yeah. the entire time like, look like this they're is insane. yeah look like they're running like uh 30 40s but yeah. more like 28 35s <laughs> 5k is gonna be crazy at the yeah. trials that's that, but that is why Paul is intimidating. Is because like he can, he has so many tools. It's yeah. like go hard from the gun, the fartlek yeah. style, the sit and kick. So yeah. you don't know what to expect with him. So though. yeah. What do we think of the women's steeple this year? <sighs> I think that you have the three that you would think. Yeah, but of course, Colleen hasn't competed yet. Neither has Courtney. Emma, Courtney, Emma hasn't Colleen. steepled, but has at least raced a bunch. And then Leah, Leah is, Leah is trending upward. At a very alarming rate. If I'm invest in Leah, invest, invest in Leah. Leah. Leah I think. How how do we think? Of the three, Allie O's racing Allie tomorrow. Knows. She's coming she, off injury, or is she? Oh she dang it! Out. Okay, she pulled out. Uh, okay. She's, she's working out though. We can see she's. Her. That's right. That's so right. That's a good sign. I I think that top three is still strong, but Leah is closing that gap very quickly. And so of who is racing. Chris, I can't believe you're making me say this. Sarah Vaughn. Well, yeah, for the first time. Her first steeple chase since 2014. Could she be the surprise on another team? You know, like, 
I think making the steeple team will be hard. She's going to try and make it to, to, to yeah. the trials in the event. Actually, what she's going to go for is the Masters world record uh, for the 35 age group, which is she, she said it was 933. So if she can get close to that tomorrow, she's still not 35. She's not 35 for like another two weeks. You guys ever think about, I like stay up late at night thinking about Jenny Simpson steepling or like Ellie Courier steepling. <laughs> Every night. I'm always thinking about them. Yeah. Yeah. I can't even no. sleep. It's just so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of them just being like, ah, you know what? I want to steeple again. I don't know. Your wife Patricia rolls over. It's like, what are You'll you thinking about? Yeah. You'll see some new <laughs> steeplers <laughs> soon. <laughs> Is that right? I won't say who, but whoa, whoa, whoa! Craig's <laughs> Craig's dropping Imagine something it. over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Say that again. Craig is dropping no, said, something you'll, over you'll here. Some new steepler soon, but I can't say who. Out of the women's, I side. got inside info from Bowerman. It's a Bowerman. Who who in Bowerman do you predict is the next big steepler? I would say it may not. Okay, it may not. Gordy, it's it's steep. It's steepler. Are we talking women or men? You never know. It could be anyone. You never get I Gordy is rumored to enter the chat. I think. Shelby probably attempted Siebel, but now it's like too close to it. She's got her events. Elise Cranny, maybe as well, but she's okay. just really specialized anyone in the from, 5K. Team. Anyone from Bowman could probably steeple. Yeah. That's the thing. If you can jump over oh, the barrier, they're so fast. Great debut soon. And and then like make a statement. I think before. someone will. I mean, the steeple is always an event that someone thinks any, that, like, okay, I can do this. Make can, can we at least. Can we at least rule out Sinclair, or can we not rule, we out, can Sinclair? rule out Sinclair? Okay, that's what that's what I that's what I was thinking. Okay, we can rule out Sinclair. Okay, she's not steepling probably ever. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> probably ever. Uh, if it was on Bowerman, my money would have been on Shelby and, and Elise, but I think they're safe bets. And that's the thing; they already events. have their events that they're they have their other studs now, at. So I don't know. That doesn't mean they won't do it, but they have their events. Well, this is intriguing. Uh, okay, I'm gonna Simpson, I'm gonna like, sleep on this. This is gonna keep me up Drake tonight. Has now. a lot of work to do. Keep me up tonight. That, like, That's your the hope. Idea is not crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jenny can do anything. Yeah. Do you think? No, do you I'm think Jenny? Do you think Jenny needs to do this steeple this year because her 1500? Just one bad race? One, okay, that's 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 the, that's the question. The that's like the first ASPN first take. Like, do you think she's jumped a hurdle in like the last nine years? Like, can I still do it? No, no, Jenny Simpson. Do you think she she she, yeah, she practiced at Wait, all? This year? this year or ever? Ever. Oh, she oh. is. Oh. Craig, steepled? you're showing your age. <laughs> <laughs> she was an American record holder. Yeah. She was the best. 2009. Win. NCAA <laughs> champ. <laughs> Uh, how many how many viewers you're going to have to cut it's like <laughs> Jenny was oh. the best people wow. in the these guys these guys oh gosh yeah 2009 Why world she started a steepler and now she she's held the American record for a while and then well she used to be good at anything obviously yeah so the question's always been was she was she ever on a steeple team yeah oh she won worlds she didn't win worlds no, but no. she made worlds she Win, NCAA's. Won trials. She, no, she, no. If she won worlds in nine. Oh nine, I would know. Then you would. Yeah. Okay. I, I think would, she no. went. Yeah, and then 2011, Guys, Joe Haas. <laughs> she was back in the 15 because that's what she won. Yeah. I don't. I honestly don't eat up like running media that much. Also, you know, fairness, you don't listen to the Sidious Mag podcast. I stay, I stay podcast? lightly yeah. connected. He doesn't read the lap count. We already huh? determined that. He doesn't so. read the lap count. Doesn't, really doesn't listen to my podcast. Doesn't listen to their podcast. I need to do more reading. Yeah. Of the lap count. <laughs> and other things, but yeah, I, I'm lightly connected with the running media. Okay, you know, have you ever posted on Let's Run? I've like, not in defense. I've, of, I've not. Have you read? I, I, I I've probably gone on Let's Run's website under ten times in my life. Wow. That's smart. It's a smart can we, man. Can we do usually, a live? Usually like, someone's like, oh, thing? dude, like read about yourself about and have Craig read. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I, does anyone ever has anyone ever said that anything bad about I, so Craig? Recently, that seen? I just got on because of the whole race. Yeah, uh, yeah. What did they say? Uh, they're like, damn, that sucks. Probably. No, there was like, there was like one. There was like before they found out. There was like that one guy saying crazy. like, "There's no way he's like Olympic caliber," and then yeah. he was like, "Yes, he told you." That's all I remember. <laughs> Man, <laughs> they got you. That, that's wow. what I know about Let's Run. Yeah. And then, to, oh, you're going to do a live search. I'm going to do a live search for Craig here. <laughs> uh -oh. We'll see what we get. Craig motherfucking Noack runs 821 3K Seeple. <laughs> I mean, that's a great thread <laughs> right at the that's front the there. That's a great thread. That's a great th th okay, so it's all re. That's the one. That was oh, a, that was nine, nine years ago, Craig Noack and his quest for sub four. 
That's high school. Freshman. It's high yeah, school. No, high school. But in freshman year, did you get I'm trying to see? I'm, I'm trying college? to like yeah, skim no. these really you quick and see if there's anything school. spicy. Did not in high school, and I didn't till my so fifth year. Oh, someone said college. No I didn't run the mile much. Was that a burden? Like, were you? Feeling no, bad? not not really at all. Like, I just didn't really run the mile a lot. Like, never was in the good opportunities. And when I finally was entered in one, I wasn't like. I wasn't really thinking. I was kind of thinking about how fast can I run? Yeah. You know, can that's I run through the deep? That's cool. Whatever. But I feel like a sports I psychologist, think you're like their dream. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I kind of just. So run. you went in high school in Texas, run. right? Yeah. Was that the same? Was it the Lutz era too? Like, Lutz, yeah. I raced in high school. I remember racing. Well, racing. I raced Lutz. Was it Lutz, a rivalry? Parker Stinson. Yeah. Connor. Well, I was never good enough to like compete with those guys. Reed time. Connor. Yeah, man. Well, that's a name I haven't heard in a long, <laughs> Reed long time. Connor. He broke four and retired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has refused to run a step yeah. since breaking four. Yeah. Instead was seen in a marshmallow costume at your race. Yeah. I ran with him before that in Houston. We're both yeah. from Houston. But yeah, we did, a, we did a run, and he told me then that he was going to break four. <laughs> never run again. Yeah. yeah. But beautiful. Because you were on the team with him, right? Yeah, yeah. We're yeah. on NJNY together. Yeah. He's the man. Yeah. <laughs> Man, uh, that's a stacked high school field to go up against. Yeah, for real. Awesome. Good. Thank you. Got the five minute warning, y'all. There's there's nothing. There's let's run. Event. Surprisingly praising of Craig, at least from what I'm seeing. The only person, only one person in that thread about your steeple said, C told you it was Olympic caliber, which is exactly what you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But other than that, I, that <laughs> yeah, basically, I, I don't give people much to like. There's nothing to, there's nothing the to hate you about. Have to start like yeah. a a, a uh, Craig Nowak like praise. Craig. No, 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 no. To start like a a praise, praise a praise thread. Craig Nowak is going to make the Olympics. Let's game. let's get a prediction. Oh, yeah, bait him in. All right, if you're listening, comment now. Prediction: What does Craig run for time tomorrow at the three K steeple? Oh, yeah, Fire him away. Where's the comments? Oh, let's see it. Eight, That'll be our little close out here. Any other last questions for for Craig as we close this bad boy out? Tune There's also in. a little delay, so it'll take a second. But yeah, plug plug the live yeah. stream. Tomorrow. So the live stream starts tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time. That is the uh, the Olympic development races, the subway races, the high school races, the masters races. They'll be in that window from 3 to 6:30, 6:45 ish. Then Kyle and I will take over, and for the main event, starting with the hurdles. We'll have an elite high school boys and women's ra- uh, boys and girls race. Then we'll have the distance races, and it ends with the steeple chases as like the big finale. And hopefully, we get a bunch of OTQs and maybe some Olympic qualifiers out of it. Okay. Um, so yeah, tune in to the City Smag YouTube channel at 6:45 Central Time for the main event tomorrow with uh, Kyle and I on the mic. It's gonna be exciting. And subscribe to are, what you guys are good. Uh, they the are good on mile. the mile.com or the lap count. <laughs> That's right. The lap, check out the lap count, check out the beer mile podcast, beer mile.com. Don't check it out yet. Give us a couple more weeks. We're getting there. We're getting there. Beer coin is coming. Uh, we haven't, no one's rolling in with the predictions quite yet. Uh, this was fun. <laughs> they should have this at every meet. This was good. I don't think we previewed the race as well as we gave the races the that we wanted. We had some oh, the good doing a beer mile as well tomorrow. So they have to. I don't think the high schoolers are going to partake in anything. Yeah, there are no sanctioned beer models at the track tomorrow. Marital hugging. <laughs> okay. Wow, no, this is weird. this hey. is getting weird. I think this is where we end it. Uh, thank you all for tuning no in. Till, till you're married. That's that's right. All right, we got one in there. All right, eight eight twenty. Will you taking 820 no, tomorrow? It says 828. Oh, 828. Yeah, Come on, like, have some faith. Have some faith. Uh, I mean, I did have four beers. If that, uh, you know, if it, to- totally, if it totally weighs your totally sweet. So, awesome. Cool. Thanks for having us. <laughs> well, now we're getting we're we're they're slowly coming in, but uh, we have to close out here. So 819. Eight uh, l- I guess last last question, Craig. We touched on it earlier. Is there a price tag that you can give us for? Wearing the first ever custom beer mile jersey, one of one. I mean, everyone's got. A prize. What's the price? I don't, I don't have a number in my head. I just want to. don't have a number. Keep the bidding. I want to keep the bidding going. You want to keep the want, bidding going. But what if we lock in right here with no contingencies? What if we we what if we I, lock I mean, it in? I'll do literally anything for ten grand. But 
Oh, 10 grand. Okay. I'm just playing. That might exceed the budget a little bit. I know. But I'm, we're I'm, gonna... probably, I'm probably worth, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm probably worth about maybe 500, 600 bucks right now. But like, you know, I'm trying to. I mean, I yeah. pump it up, pump it up. I mean, I think we can go public and say, if you hit the, if you hit the Olympic standard, the Olympic standard, I think that's worth 2000 bucks. Is that fair? I would okay. say that's fair. Okay. You know? Yep. We'll have our people. We'll talk to your people. They'll ink it right. after this, and we'll call it good. Sub 822. All right. Sub 822. That's, that's what it's going to be. All right. You, that's why you guys put some beers in me, because you're trying to get it. Well, we want to make sure that your carb. No, we want to make sure that you have the carb that you need. Yeah. Like, we don't want you under fuel today, so. We're carbed up. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. We got a couple more. Eight nineteen and eight eighteen. Wow. Well, Shot. we would all we would all take an eight nineteen or an eight eighteen tomorrow would, for Craig. Would take any of the above. That sounds That's excellent. Awesome. awesome. All right, we're closing it out. Any words of wisdom, anybody? I think we got to get words of wisdom from Craig and and our guests. Okay. Do you have a, any uh, words of wisdom? wisdom? We always close out with words of wisdom. Fire away your best words of wisdom. Honestly, tomorrow night is an opportunity. To share free track and field with the ones you love. Share that link with everyone you know. Retweet, favorite, post on Facebook, whatever you have to do. Because it's, uh, it's just fun. It's going to be good banter. Great races. The drone is back. The drone is back. Drone. The drone has a sponsor. And so I just think tomorrow night it's about just uh, let's introduce some new people who maybe aren't yet ready to jump into the subscription world. Let's just show them what track field is all about. That's my word of wisdom. Love it. That's money. Excellent. Anything, Craig? Word of wisdom, I would say no matter what you're doing, track and field related or not, just have fun with it. Don't take yourself too seriously. That's and, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy the people you're with. That's, it. that's, that's excellent. My, that's my word of Live, life, laugh, wisdom. love. That's, that's life yeah, advice. That's it. Perfect. You can be All a life coach when you're done running. I'll be let's go. Coach. Let's go life coach route. All right. We will catch you tomorrow night. Tune in live. Tune into the Sidious Mag YouTube channel tomorrow night. Thanks, y'all. Have do a we good one. Enjoy like your this? Friday evening. Oh, we do know how to end it. We do know how to end it. <laughs> All right. Ending that stream.